Brian here, welcome back to another video. In January of 2023, the US government released this image you're seeing now. It was taken by a US spy plane in an active war zone over Mosul, Iraq in April 2016. I was very shocked to see this because as it so happens, I saw the exact same thing less than one month later. I saw it on June 19th, 2016, Father's Day. I was on a wave runner at the time, so I didn't have a camera on me. For that reason, I wasn't planning on making a video on this, but that new image being released really boosts the credibility of my story in a sense. On top of that, many others were able to record the exact same thing in many locations around the world, as you see now. Everyone close to me has heard this story over the years, and now you get to hear it. Like I said, I was on a wave runner on Fox Lake in Illinois at around 2 in the afternoon. It was mostly sunny out with moderate wind. My wave runner's water intake got clogged by some seaweed, so I jumped off and had to reach under to clear it. As I got back into the seat, this metallic looking silver colored sphere was in the sky right in front of me. Being a healthy skeptic, I figured it was a balloon that got loose or whatever because it was Father's Day and all. But it was pretty windy and I could not detect any motion from it whatsoever. It was like it was just parked there in the sky. It was probably around two to five football fields away at the time. It's hard to tell because there was no frame of reference for the size of it. If I had to guess, it seemed to be around the size of a work van. It wasn't moving at all with the wind, otherwise I would have just dismissed it as a balloon. So I just started squinting my eyes to study every fine detail of it. There were no imperfections, lines, or external parts that were visible at least. In some of the clips you're seeing a ridge or other lines are visible, but I did not see that at all. It looked just like the image the government released. So I watched it really closely for about 30 seconds, and as I blinked, the thing just vanished instantly. I didn't see it zoom away, there were no clouds near it. If this was a balloon that popped, I would have seen it falling down. I was extremely shocked. It's like a uh, sleight of hand magic trick or something, but it happened in the middle of the sky, so it couldn't be some trick. I looked all over the sky for the next 15 minutes and never saw it again. It was the single most shocking thing I have ever seen. As I was looking around in the sky, I was also looking at other boats to see if anybody else noticed what I just saw. And I did not see anybody who took notice. Everybody was pretty distracted with the typical boat stuff. Between drinking, tubing, water skiing, you name it. So this gets me thinking, how many UFOs are up there in the sky right above us but simply go unnoticed? Since I've been fascinated with UFO related stuff my whole life, I'm always in the habit of looking into the sky. And I've only seen two strange things in all these years. But as much as I look into the sky, it's still a very small percentage of my time. So I'm willing to bet that this is happening a lot more than anyone is willing to admit. Between all the UFO reporting centers out there, they're getting daily reports. And the overwhelming majority of people who see UFOs in the sky will never report them. So it's not a stretch to guess that that number is 10 times higher than is actually recorded. Even if many of these UFOs have regular earthly explanations, that's still a huge number. The evidence for UFOs is growing all the time. Many UFOs have been observed doing exactly as I described. It's well documented by radar data and collaborated by a growing number of eyewitness pilots. Now, pilots are mainly concerned for safety reasons as these UFOs have zoomed by dangerously close to airplanes at extraordinary speeds. The US Navy has been the main branch of the military that is openly talking about this phenomena. The Air Force is staying very tight-lipped on this whole situation, but I have a feeling the amount of evidence they have is just staggering. There are even some pilots who claim to be seeing UFOs on a daily basis. There are no airplane crashes that have been caused by UFOs, as far as I am aware at least. It seems like whoever made these craft don't want them crashing either. What appears to be dangerous maneuvers by them are likely intentional close flybys to get a closer look. I am torn between different possibilities for what I saw in my case. Many top UFO experts have said that around 50% of UFOs are man-made 
and the other 50% are legit extraterrestrial craft. Even if it was made by aliens, it's just as likely to be an unmanned drone-like probe. I've been working on a video about artificial intelligence, and many futurists believe we will soon have unmanned drones sent out in all directions from Earth, gathering data about the universe. If you want to see that video when it comes out in the near future, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If extraterrestrials are barely ahead of us in technological development, then these craft could easily be scouting probes sent here so they can study us. It is also very possible they could be many thousands of years ahead of us technologically. And of course, there is a more earthly explanation. Going back over 15 years ago, there were already primitive stealth technologies, so there is certainly a chance that these sphere types of UFOs could be some experimental human-created craft. And keep in mind, these secret technology programs are likely many years ahead of what is publicly used and acknowledged. A simple Google search will show you that the US Pentagon has announced that many trillions of dollars, with a T, are supposedly missing. Yeah, right. According to some estimates, we cannot track 2.3 trillion dollars in transactions. 2.3 trillion with a T. It is far more likely that this money is going towards the development of new technologies under the highest levels of secrecy. There is no benefit to publicizing your breakthroughs so your enemies know how to use their resources in order to best catch up. The way that some UFOs just blink out of existence may have some potential far out explanations as well. Scientists have theorized that there could be as high as 26 dimensions in the universe. Human beings can only see about 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum so we are practically blind. It would be likely easy for an advanced alien craft to shift to an invisible part of the spectrum. Remember, these things disappear from radar detection as well. These craft could be capable of navigating into unseen dimensions as easy as we navigate to the store and back. Scientists also theorize that the fastest way between two points is not a line, but rather a wormhole. They are sort of like portals that provide shortcuts between two points. We aren't advanced enough to create one yet because it takes an insane amount of energy just to make a tiny one for a short duration. An advanced extraterrestrial species anywhere in the universe could be hundreds of thousands of years ahead of us technology-wise and perhaps they are simply observing us. Even if they are millions of light years from us, wormholes would allow them to get here almost instantaneously. There could be real alien beings in these crafts, because who wouldn't want to observe an alien civilization with their own eyes? They seem particularly interested in war zones, like this Mosul one. But in my case, on Fox Lake that day, the lake was loaded with boats. So maybe they're interested in our technology and activities in general. The number of UFOs seen after the first nuclear bombs were detonated increased dramatically. At that point, it's like they realized, hey, that dumb hairless monkey species is getting kind of smart now. Time to keep an eye out. Maybe it could be for self-preservation reasons or possibly for their version of reality TV. Kind of like that hilarious South Park episode where all of Earth was a crazy experiment for the entertainment of aliens. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, it would help me out to hit that like button and subscribe. I don't have any more personal UFO stories after this, and I've already made videos on both of them. You can click at the end of this video to see that one as well. I took a break from making videos, but now I'm back making them as fast as possible. I only have so much time and energy, so if you want to go the extra mile, be sure to share this with friends and even some other UFO channels like Secure Team. If I'm able to make videos full time in the near future, I'll pump out videos twice as fast. Thanks guys, Momento Mori. Peace out till next time.